couple months ago, I told Phil that I was pregnant with this baby. I was vomiting all the time, couldn't eat anything. I was bloated and I felt kicking and movement in my stomach. I was hormonal and moody. I would look in the mirror and see how fat I was and, and I knew I was pregnant. All the stress caused a miscarriage. I was bleeding and three weeks later, I went to the hospital. They said that there was no sign of a miscarriage and there was no sign of a pregnancy. When they told me this, I started crying. It's very upsetting. Phil was with me at the ER when they told me he was upset, but at the same time, he didn't believe me when I said that I was pregnant. It really hurt. The next month, I had missed my menstrual cycle and I had thought I was pregnant again. I took 10 pregnancy tests right in front of Philip, and they all said negative. I was very vulnerable, and this guy texted me telling me how he couldn't see me with another guy, and I had consensual sex with him, and I regret it. I told Philip that I was raped because I was embarrassed and disappointed in myself. The way Philip found out is he had gone through my phone and seen messages between me and that person. I messed up by telling Philip that I was raped, but I am not lying about being pregnant. I have never faked a pregnancy in my life. I love Philip very much. We've talked about a future together, having kids together. I think he's cheating because he told me that he did and he's told me in the past he's wanted other people and that I wasn't good enough for him. He says he couldn't remember when he cheated. He doesn't know if it, we were together or apart. If I fail, I'm really gonna be disappointed because I know I didn't do anything, but when I pass, I'm gonna be grateful that this is gonna end. Were you excited when she told you she was gonna, you were gonna be a dad? Yes, I was excited, but I was also nervous, and I didn't know what to do. I don't have any kids with anyone else, and I was looking forward to having a daughter. This would not... have been your first child? Mm hmm She said she felt kicking in her stomach after less than two months of pregnancy. Yes, she did. Uh, she told me about the, the butterflies, the kick in, the pain underneath her rib cage. She was vomiting. For two months. I saw her getting sick all the time. I was well, there yeah, firsthand, but, but yeah, it was kind of soon. Yeah, but I mean, I can understand nausea, but you know, kicking at two months, I don't think so. Why did you guys go to the ER? Now, I noticed, I checked in with her one day, she was in the bathroom, she, she was bleeding. I saw blood and I asked her for how long it was going on for. So, which could have been a menstrual cycle. It was going on for a few weeks, so it was much longer than a typical one, and it was much more than so normal. So you said, hey, was it your idea to go to the emergency room? I was concerned about her safety. So we're there for about 10 hours. They do an ultrasound on her. 10 hours? I was going back and forth. I kept on looking at her. She, was, she fell asleep for a while. I'm restless. I'm wondering what's going on. I'm thinking, okay, maybe she's having a miscarriage, maybe something. I don't know what it is. So they do an ultrasound of her pelvic region. They do one of her stomach. We wait for a few hours for the results. They come back, they tell me, hey, there's no signs of anything that they can't tell that she was pregnant at all. So they basically said there was no baby? Mm-mm. Yeah. Because if she felt kicking and stuff, there'd be some signs of a baby being in there. There would. And little, little legs. <laughs> we. <laughs> We did a, a lot of pregnancy tests together as well. And yeah, she said she took 10. I've, it was over 12. It doesn't why, always well, pop why up. Why keep taking it? Just in case there was a false negative. Yeah, but after I three. She had uh, issues where we thought she was pregnant more than once. She... Was she just a liar? She was a liar, and that's what caused me... Are you still with her? Yes, I am. Why, oh, and so she cheats on you, right? And she lies that she was raped. That's a big one there. She made me believe that, hey, um, I was raped, or I mean her, that she went through all this abuse, 
that all these bad things happened to her, that she was a victim. So I she just, wanted to make it out like she was raped, but she didn't consensually have sex with this person. She told me over a dozen times in two months. She told me time after time, and it came up casually one day. It's like, oh, this happened to you. And I'm like, all right. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm like, why don't we go? We'll go to the police station. We'll file a report. Yeah. Get this dude in trouble. How did you find out it was a lie? I had to go through her phone. Her and I have that relationship where we have each other's passwords and that level of trust. And she... You know what? Me and my wife had that, too. Like, she knows my passport. I know hers. I never go through her phone. I felt it in my gut. Okay. I had something that told me. She's acting weird. She was keeping her phone underneath her pillow. <laughs> just, she was moody, the way she was flipping out on me. So you read through these texts, and, and it was very consensual. It was three days yeah. before she came back to me. And yeah, the dude told, uh, she told the dude to come over and me. Oh. Yeah. Do you think that she seeks a, a lot of attention? She's an attention seeker? Yes, she is. Yeah. She plays the victim all the time. I'm hoping to find out the truth. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm... <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm you... not trying to break you up. But everything from this point on, oh, honey, I'm pregnant. Really? Like, you I don't mean, want that to be the reaction when your wife be... oh. tells you... You know, uh, like, I can't imagine my wife, like, honey, I'm pregnant. Really? Mm. Are you <laughs> me? Everything she tells you, you'd have to look at it like, come on. It Are pushed you... me away further. It did. So the big I... question is, did you fake that pregnancy? No, I didn't. But you, you were telling him that you felt feet, little feet, baby feet, stomping you I in the ribs. I felt something move in my stomach is what I said. But did you feel kicking? Did you say you felt <laughs> I kicking? I did not say that. What did you say exactly? I said I felt something move in my stomach. And yeah. when I called the hospital... Could have been a whopper? What about the butterflies in the feeling? Like? What about the butterflies? <laughs> when I... <laughs> I thought I was having... I thought I was having a daughter. <laughs> so he's, he's taking it like he's talking to an expert. You're a mother of three. Something moved. He's taking it like you felt a baby move. And that's what you were implying, right? That's not what I was implying. What, what were you were. implying? What I told him. What were you implying? I was implying that something moved. You like felt what? pregnant. You told me you had morning sickness. You were thrown up every morning. Exactly, I you was. You had the cramp and the pain underneath your So you your definitely ribs. were paying you had a baby as you were stomach. pregnant. And you told him you were pregnant. Yeah. What about looking in the mirror, huh? You were looking in there all the time, looking at your bump. Exactly. You gained 15 pounds in like two weeks and you're not eating any more than normal? So in your heart, you truly believed you were pregnant? Yes. At no time were you faking it? No. So when you go in the hospital, they run a million tests and they don't find anything, you were like what? I was upset about it, very surprised. What were you upset about? I was upset that I wasn't because I want a future with him. I want to have kids with him. I want to be with him for the rest of Why'd my life. Why'd you lie about being raped? I was vulnerable. I was disappointed in myself and very embarrassed that I went back to somebody that treated me like crap. But you do understand, like, I, I to me, a... there's like murder, like the worst thing you do, and then probably rape is right below I murder. I know. Think I wouldn't trust you? I know you don't trust you, me. No, you think I wouldn't trust you? That I, you. Oh, wait, wait. You couldn't You're just saying tell you me. Know you couldn't. He doesn't oh. trust you? Yeah. Why do you stay with him? Because I love them. Yeah, and but what, don't you want to be with somebody that trusts you? No you know, one's I, ever treated me like he does. He treats you good. Exactly. So why lie to him? I would have understood. My entire family would lie to me, and it's just something that comes natural, and I don't do like that me? I do it. What does that have to do with me, though? I hate that I do it to you. Ask her? Yes. And we asked her, while in a relationship with Philip, have you engaged in any sexual intercourse with any other man? She answered no. While in a relationship with Philip, have you engaged in any physical sexual contact with any other man besides Philip? She answered no. The results of those two questions came back the same, and it came back that Jasmine told the truth. I told you. I told you. I told you that I didn't. So she actually started it about I two hours ago. <laughs> so I told you that I didn't. <laughs> Sorry.
Philip took a lie detector test. Mm -hmm. And he confessed to sexual intercourse with the one woman, mm -hmm. oral sex with another, and kissing another in a bar. Mm -hmm. So he kind of slid down the ladder. Intercourse, I... oral sex, <laughs> kissing. But then we went on to test him. While in a relationship with Jasmine, other than the one woman, have you engaged in sexual intercourse with any other woman? He answered, no. While in a relationship with Jasmine, other than the three women, have you engaged in any physical sexual contact with any other woman? He answered, no. The results of those two questions came back the same, and it came back that Philip told the truth. Yeah, there's no... Okay. Yeah, you know, those two people okay. that you fought, those, no, mm-mm, okay. no. Mm. It's your classic love story, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, this is the main one. Oh, my. All right, Jasmine, you took a lie detector test whether you faked the pregnancy. We asked you, while in a relationship with Philip. Did you knowingly lie about being pregnant? And you answered, yes. Oh. While in a relationship with Philip, did you know that you were not pregnant and claim you were, claim that you were in order to keep Philip around? She answered, yes. Oh. Where was all the blood from? Did you fabricate and lead Philip on that you were pregnant then? when you were not? to keep him with you? Yeah. And she answered yes. Yeah, she, you, you played me. You wanted me to stay around. You thought I wouldn't have stayed around for just you. You told you. me that you were gonna leave me. I wanted you. You told me you were gonna leave me if you found out I was pregnant. What? He was gonna leave you if you were pregnant? Yeah. So you told him? I know. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. She's self-sabotaging. I told her I wasn't ready, and I didn't want that right now, and... So why did you tell him you were pregnant? She wanted to... No, self hold on, I want to hear from her. Why did you tell him you were pregnant? Because at the time I thought I was, and I want a future with him. No, but you just admitted you knew you weren't pregnant. She took pregnancy tests, they Stop. She's a big girl. Answer the question. It says here, you knew you weren't pregnant, but you told him you were. The first time I Why knew. did you do that? Oh, you're so <laughs> you can't even answer now. She played me. Okay. <laughs> Knowing that she's, uh, uh, she's a born liar, mm -hmm. her own words, not mine. She is. She comes from a family of liars. You're going, to, if you stay in this relationship, you are going to be with a liar. Okay. Do you want to stay in this relationship? Yes, I do. How do, you, how do you stay in it, though? How do you make it work? Be more honest. Be honest, honest. I have to beg you for honesty. You say you're not going to lie anymore. Yes. She said right. that before. I'm going I'm to ask you to leave the stage. <laughs> With people today and people, you know, oh, I, I was raped, I didn't rape. It, it really demeans actual victims that people have a hard time coming forward saying this. Um, but anyways, you don't even have to say anything. You say, you walk out those stairs, she's back there waiting for you. You give her another chance. Maybe she becomes a truthful person. Or you say, hey, man, I'm a young guy. I got my whole life ahead of you. I'm going to try something different. You go out there for it. <laughs> and you don't have to say anything. Nothing. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.